Let's solve a question on electromagnetic induction. So here we have two coils. Mahesh sets up two coils labeled one and two around a tube. A current can pass in coil one through a circuit. So we can see that. And a galvanometer is connected to coil two. So we can see this galvanometer connected to coil two. In which case does Mahesh observe a current in coil two? And we have four, we have three situations. The last option is all of the above. So why don't you pause the video and give this one a try first. All right, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now let's see what's happening. We have two coils, one and two, okay. And there is a circuit around coil one, a galvanometer around coil two, connected to coil two. Galvanometer is something that measures changes in current, right? So if there is a current flowing in coil two, we will see the needle move. And we need to figure out in which case does Mahesh observe a current in coil two. All right, so initially we have these two coils and uh, the first situation is a current is switched in coil one. So when there is a current flowing in coil one, we know there will be some magnetic field, right? A current carrying coil generates magnetic field. So that could, that could look somewhat like this. And if there are, if there is a current in coil one, there is magnetic field lines like this. We will see these magnetic field lines passing through the turns in coil two which means the number of magnetic field lines is changing through coil two, which means the flux, the magnetic flux through coil two is changing. And we also know that changing magnetic flux induces current. So there will be a current in coil two in the first situation. Now let's have a look at the second one with a switch on coil one moves towards coil two. Okay. So this switch is on. We have the switch is on. We have the current flowing in coil one and this is kept on and coil one is moved towards coil two. So that situation would look somewhat like this. Now in this case, we see that when the coil one moves towards coil two, more magnetic field lines will pass through coil two, which means a greater change in flux or just any change in flux and changing flux induces current. So again, in the second situation, there will be a current in coil two. The third situation is, switch is on and coil two is moved towards coil one. Well, this really looks similar. So uh, you can imagine what's really happening here. This coil, this coil two is moved towards coil one and there are magnetic field lines. There are magnetic field lines passing, passing through coil one. So even in that case, the number of magnetic field lines through coil two will change, right? Which means the flux will change and that will induce the current. So the right option here is all of the above.